again. Try, 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 try. Let's go, let's go, let's go. So next up the British Exodus in the UK whilst in lockdown, we've got Hayler, another one from the UK. Smashed a big back of bicep session, so uh, you've got six seats, so you can see how we're going with this today. So we're gonna do a bit of amalgamation of training. We'll start with straight on pull down first, uh, and probably some sort of pull down. That's right, so a little bit of a lat activation, and then straight arm front underhand pull down, then we'll get into our big compound. Get a back, uh, contraction in your lats from doing a straight up pull down with a rope. Actually, like externally rotate your hands. When you've got the rope, if you twist out and then drive down, you finally get a better contraction in your lat. The big tip is you want to think about not pulling through your hands, but driving your elbows down and back, keeping your chest up. So that's how we fully shorten our lat, getting our elbow back past midline. Okay, so exercise number one, top row first exercise, we're going to a barbell row, overhand. Uh, so we're going to start warm, warming up on this and working up on this, and we'll see if we get to weight wise. We've been barbell row for a long time, and that almost feels like a brand new exercise, so this is why it's actually important to make sure you change up your training. And after a set period of time, if you find an exercise, you're not really getting much more out of it, and it's probably time to change. So uh, yesterday's extra food is going to be put to good use with this food. There's some reps to this. What we're gonna do is we're gonna work up, we're gonna do two sets, we're gonna do one heavier set, probably like six to 10 reps and then we'll drop the weight back and we'll probably do like 12 to 15 reps, both sets of failure, but we'll be trying to keep form. So that felt heavy-ish, so three plates could be interesting. So when you have, I'm gonna do it and form could be interesting, but we'll try and keep it strict, but I'd rather try and fail than never try at all, so we'll give it a go. Come a, a hyper extension from there. Yeah, I find like with that exercise, once I get to the point where I'm going to end up hypering it, it's, it's the people that are going to give you the argument that that little bit of movement there is okay, and that little bit of movement is going to give you that heightened contraction as well. Always get a little bit of back extension. You might get a little bit of leg drive, and like how perfect can you be, and without sacrificing load. Do you know what I mean? Like, you, need, you need to get that balance. Bit of inertia. Yeah, like you can't be, yeah, you can't be up here, you can't be shrugging, and again, you can't be squatting it's it up. that forward lean, I think, is the bit. Yeah, it's just, for people, if we, people do a row in like that position, like standing up. And the thing is, as well, like people often forget about other people's mechanics. So, like, my hips are up here. So for me to be down there, can look at how much of a, if you see where I'm at here, the amount, the compromised position I'm in, when my femurs are this long, being there all the time, I'm not, I can't lift fuck all. I need to have a little bit of movement and my back needs to be a little bit more of a, at an angle.
next up we're doing single arm underhand pull down. Goal here is to try and drive our elbow down and really squeeze and flex in and try and drive into this lower lat area. So this is really good to go through full range of motion and it's different playing the movement obviously to what we did previously. I never take doubt as a lesson I never second guess it Take negativity and reject it I got my mind blind to rejection So I'll be just fine Don't be wasting any time with discretion I run this campaign like I'm running an election I pop this champagne like we're not in a recession I feel no damn pain I'll be broken is a blessing Feel it pumping through my veins Got me feeling like I'm flexing, yeah Come on, cut you deep on the other and feel the heat and all the tension. Need relief from this obsession, but I keep myself progressing because I creep across the presence. I don't sleep enough, you guessed it. Every second is a blessing. Got no time to be depressed on this grind, you always stress. So I work harder than the rest that always said to do my best. Right, that was a money set. You can see from the facial expressions it was good set. <laughs> hey. One more. One more with me now. 15, let's go. Work all the way. Come on. Come on. Come on. One more. Come on, then I'm gonna make you work now. Come on, come on, come on. No quit until it's in. No quit until it's in. Squeeze. The big mistake most people make when training the lats is they kind of like fall like this. And like, well, hey, just saying, you can see it. It's like when I'm coming down, I'm trying to consciously start by contracting down there. I'm almost pulling my scapula down first and then leading through the elbow, whereas most people just try and do this. They don't retract the scapula. No, there. so they literally just pull, almost like rotate to the upper if back. You, if you've noticed that part there, yeah. Where you start, retract. So that retraction, there's no elbow drive. Yeah, there's that's no, what engages the lat. There's down. no pulling from the arm, it's just the retraction and then the elbow drive. A, good, a really good way to do this if you don't know how, is to almost overemphasize. It's a literally like hyperextend at the top, drive the shoulders down yeah. and then come down to get Used exactly to that queuing. That, exactly that. Same with any kind of pull down, isn't it? Yeah, everything. Yeah. Anything back related, yeah. Oh, Again. Oh, really strong. Come on. Let's go. Up. Four. Oh. Let's go, hey. Come on. Three. Drive, 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 drive. That man's like crazy. Jesus. Woo. Using a seat row chest support so we can keep tighter and locked in. We're going to do a rest pause set, so we're going to try and stack this, do as many reps as we can. 15, 20 second rest, go again. 15, 20 second rest, go again. Let's see what happens. Let's get my straps. You have to fucking grab it, I'm sick of being adequate. Another college graduate, just looking for an advocate. To hire me to pack your shit, you want it, take a stab at it. You need it, then get after it. These people, they don't matter, shit, just block them out and capture it. I can count on no one else, and I do not need. One of the key secrets to this exercise, the back generally, is fully protractable reaching out, fully length your lap and then drive all the way back in. With the chest pad here, as you get tired, it's so hard to, you naturally want to pull away, you always want to drive into the pad, to really try and lock into your back. Right, strong, good, good. Easy. 
Three, oh. two, come on, let's go. Easy, come on, again, again. Nice. Oh. Four. Go on. Oh. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. Keep it chest and tight, chest and tight. Ah. One more. Go again, chest and tight. Don't let that chest off, don't let the chest off, don't let the chest off. There we go. Ah. One more, one more with me, one more with me. Let's go. Chest into the tight. Now, now, fight, 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 fight. There we go. Oh. Oh, fuck. Oh, it's Girl, you got me shook from the way your body looks. Got me riding looks, got me feeling like a rug. I will do it by the book, but for you, I'll take a look. Don't know what you're not like. It's like a cup. Such an accurate machine. So, here we're doing three sets, 1250 reps. I go, Haley goes, just pump back for the blood. Key with this well, just full range of motion. Really, really big. Stretch up the top, full length of that, and drive in. Yeah, your body feels like taking on a drug. You got me feeling good, yeah, you got me feeling numb. Everything you do, I can't seem to get enough. You got me feeling good, yeah, you got me feeling numb. Touching on your body feels like taking on a drug. You got me feeling good, yeah, you got me feeling numb. Everything you do, I can't seem to get enough. You got me feeling good, yeah, you got me feeling numb. Could look at you all day, watch the way them hips sway. Love your body, so I pray. Don't you dare take it away. Can't control what I say. Lost my mind, cause you're great. Hey, girl. Next exercise, a video's complaining. Uh, we are doing a cable road to finish off the back. So, we're really trying to go through full range, really nice contraction. Again, get loads more blood in there. So, we start there, you work up with more heavier compound stuff like the barbell row. We're now going to go into more metabolic work, slightly higher volume, more pumpy stuff. So the mag grip, like looks like underhand, is really good for contraction of the lower lat area. Um, so you'll probably do three to four sets, 12 to 15 reps on this. Fairly fast in terms of rest periods, and then we're going to biceps. <clears throat> so why this is really nice in terms of handle, see there the way the handle's gripped? automatically makes me pull down here into my lower lat. If you use a close grip hand like this, there, you end up pulling here, it's more like upper back, and a lot of traps. Because that handle position's wider, inside the underhand, it makes us drive down here to go to the lower lat, rather than upper back and pulling through our necks, which you see most people do when trying to train their back. Pulled into it. Drive down. That's when you know you've had your nap on the line. You've got five cuts. Count it, count it, count it, count it. 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 Count it, count it,
get full of bigger heat. Doing it like little Wayne, uh, release your chill like it's the play, uh, track after track is insane, uh, bitch get the hell out my lane, uh, I'm just gonna ride to the beat, yeah, lyrics they come out my teeth, yeah, we do this shit every week, uh, bitch put that shit on repeat, uh, I keep on going, I'm rolling and putting a show on I hate him right away because he said my arms are too big and he was getting scared and feeling intimidated, so he keeps nipping off the toilet, so. Can't see him. Where's Hyder? Yeah, he's, where, where is Hyder? Where, where's Hyder? Where is Hyder? Hyder! Hiding. Hyder's hiding. <laughs> Red meat stay in your stomach for up to a week, do not This is the debate on the holiday binge of what not to do. So, like last weekend, I went to a Brazilian steakhouse and ate way too much. Is it called that uh, By the fountains, by the mall. Oh, no. It's dope, so I'd highly recommend it, but not in the diet. But if you eat too much protein, your stomach will just tear itself to bits and won't digest it. So that happened to me last night. Basically. And that's why you've got acid, a heartburn, like acid reflux. You're actually better off having... You, you, the, pro the issue is, you think you're doing yourself a favour. You more protein. Oh, I know. I'll go to a Lebanese restaurant, I'll get the mixed grill, yeah, yeah, yeah. loads of meat, hardly any carbs, little bit of fat, yeah, and you're yeah. like, ah, I know, fill up on protein, yeah. so then I don't, and then next thing you know, you're fucking waking up and you're like burping and you're getting heartburn. And you're like, what the fuck's going on? I kept, I was fairly sensible last night. <laughs> yeah. But, but your, your stomach finds it more difficult to break the protein down than yeah, exactly. fats and, and carbohydrates. And, oh. and when it comes to like the Lebanese foods and stuff like that, it's like either chicken or lamb. And I don't know about you or any of your clients or my clients, lamb is pretty much a no-go in terms of what you get out of it in terms of calories for the amount of food that you get and you just don't bother with it and that's literally all I had lamb and chicken so it's a completely kind of new source of protein that my stomach's not used to dealing with high fat high protein it's just obviously struggling to break it down and fat's much slower to digest as well so exactly it's almost yeah. like toxic it's just gonna sit <laughs> on your stomach so. yeah. Pre-workout meal last night about eight o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> 14 hour digestion time. 14 hour pre workout time. <laughs> Probably just just getting in now. Uh, yeah. Straight down to the 949. Oh shit. Yeah. Yeah. You can't stop this show, it's fucking chronic, yo It's fucking toxic like an alcoholic lodge yeah. so It's catastrophic like a psychotic erotico Cause even though I want to quit her, man, she kinda dope I gotta go, I never slow down Everybody knows that we the best to throw down Party's in the soul town, we get your soul loud Party with the whole crowd, kick the haters all out Taking the way up and down, the focus never slow down Put my shit out in the open, so you know now Everybody's taking notice there they go now, yeah, welcome to my show, bitch This my hometown, I'm a kid in my focus Never slow down, put my shit out in the open So you know now, everybody's taking notice There they go now, yeah, welcome to my show, bitch This my Easy hometown, walk. I'm a kid in right Muscle round now. We've done a rest pause, we've done straight sets. Now we're going muscle round. We're alternating arms. So usually we do a six by four, 10 seconds rest in between. Because we're doing uh, unilateral movement, he's going to rest on the other side. So now he's curling his left, the right rest. When he's turning his right, the left rest. So he just goes straight from left to right, left to right, until he's done six sets of four. I'm sorry that I'm a bit fur, 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 fur. It's because I've got this Invisalign in. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's what we're, we're linked up with the Invisalign bros. <laughs> Let's go. I got a couple shots in my system of that whiskey I'm the best in fucking town in this motherfucking city Everybody knows me now cause I'm staying hella busy Got the ladies all around thinking that I'm hella feeling Cause I'm good to yeah. You gon' hear me on the radio I can give a fuck what you get tonight as audio I'm not a show the opposite of dropping though Saving up a poppin' though I'm lockin' on a domino and push it till they poppin' Oh, the smoke is never slow down Put my shit out in the open So you know now everybody's taking notice There they go now, yeah Welcome to my show, bitch It's my hometown, I'ma get it right The smoke is never slow down Put my shit out in the open So you know now everybody's taking notice There they go now, yeah Welcome to my show, bitch. It's my hometown, I'ma get it right. Back and biceps wrapped half-pink Thank you. So I always ask people questions at the end of training sessions. What's your top tip for training back? 
Feel the movement, don't throw the weight, engage everything, retract your scapula. Quick one, nice and short. I agree, so like, like we talk about a lot on the lap pull down where uh, people try and like, like throw the weight and actually think about what you're trying to contract with. It's probably the biggest takeaway from back just, training. It's just so easy to kind of, because you can't see the muscle working, it's hard to kind of engage with it. What I tell a lot of clients to do is film their back workouts so they can see the movement, they can see what they're actually pulling from and, and where they're pulling from, rather than just hoping that they're doing it right. I think a lot of people um, have weak backs because they don't that kind engages. of, yeah, they don't engage. I, I, me personally, it happened to me for a long time in my early years of training. I had a weak back for a long time because I didn't really know where or how to pull from it correctly. You're just moving weight from A to B and you can do that for a long time and get nowhere. One of the big things that I do is a bit weird, and I probably might burn into some of this, is I end up closing my eyes yeah, and yeah, I just yeah. think about like yeah. feeling it. It's a little bit kind of, uh, I guess, yeah, I guess it's a little cheesy to kind yeah, of talk yeah. about because people think you're talking shit, but it actually does work. You close your eyes, you really kind of connect with your, with your muscles and you feel where you're pulling from. I think that's a big, big, big benefit if you can kind of engage like that. So it's top training tips there, guys. Let us know what you think of the video. Drop a comment below, smash the like button, subscribe, and we'll see you next video. Boom.